Jessie V. And in today's video, we're gonna be continuing our It's Near You series. You guys always request this series. Now, usually up until this point, I've always gone in alphabetical order of the states. But in this video, I decided to change it up a little bit and I chose a state at random. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about all the urban legends and haunted places in Tennessee. All right, so let's just jump right into this video and talk about all of the creepy things that have to do with Tennessee. The very first urban legend is called the Pig Man. So this is a very disturbing monster that is said to reside in Tennessee and there's actually a couple different backstories about him. The first story says he used to be a crazy man that would put pig heads all around his property to scare away the visitors. And they say that even after he passed away, so even in death, he was still up to his old tricks and loved scaring people. So his ghost walks around with a pig head as a mask. And another story says the pig man was a circus animal trainer that wasn't very nice to the animals. So one day his pigs turned on him and ate him. So now he haunts people with the face of a pig. It is said that he is usually seen on a bridge that people have nicknamed Pig Man Bridge. And apparently you can smell him coming from miles away. So if you're ever on this bridge or in this forest and you smell something strange, run away as fast as you can. Now, if you ever want to summon him or see him, which I don't advise you do, but if you do, they say to go to the bridge during a full moon. And if you park in the middle of the bridge and call out, pig man, pig man, pig man, three times while flashing your car lights, he'll appear. Why do I feel like I would do this if I lived in this area? <laughs> All right, the next story we're gonna talk about is called the bathroom bullies. Jamestown has an eerie tale about Pine Haven School, which is a local abandoned building that houses a very sad ghost. Years ago, a young boy was alone in the bathroom before class when he was confronted by the school bully. And while he was washing his hands, his school bully pushed him into the mirror and the mirror cracked and this poor boy fell down and hit his head on the sink. The bully realized what he had done and was so terrified about getting in trouble that he buried the boy under Beneath the school. And since that day, the school became extremely haunted by this poor kid's spirit. So no one goes to this school anymore, obviously. It's totally abandoned. But sometimes you're able to go there and tour the place. And you are more than welcome to enter the bathroom at the end of the hall, which is where this supposedly happened. Legend has it that if you look in the mirror, you will see the boy behind you. So this story is such a sad tale. And I feel like I would just be heartbroken walking around this school. All right, the next urban legend is called the White Screamer. Back in the 1800s, there was this family that lived in a house located in White Bluff. Most nights they were wide awake, hearing constant screams and howling from the nearby woods. They had no idea what this screaming was, where it was coming from, what it was coming from. And the children living in this house were inconsolable. They were so afraid they couldn't sleep at all. So one night the husband charged into the dark woods ready to find this creature to end this constant screaming. But after a while of searching, he had no luck. He couldn't find this creature, so he decided to head back to his house. When he got back, he saw that this unknown creature had eaten his entire family. And when he looked outside, standing near the house, was this female type creature that was covered in white mist. She had her mouth wide open and she was screaming. This led the father to believe that she must have been some sort of banshee. And there's actually this different story about what the screaming could have been from. Some say that a circus train was passing through the area when some of the animals escaped during a stop. And they say one of the most exotic animals that they had in this train escaped and they couldn't get it back on board. Now the people who owned this circus claimed that this creature had a very disturbing scream that almost sounded like a woman. So people are unsure if this scream is coming from a ghost or a strange escaped circus creature. So what do you guys think? If any of you guys live in Tennessee and know a bit more about this legend, comment down below which one you think it is. This next story is called Evil Tinkerbell. And this is something I just stumbled across while looking up scary stories in Tennessee. It's about a little girl who lived in a tiny cabin in the woods with her parents. And this was back in the 80s. And pretty much every day her mother would find her running through the forest playing with something. And when her mother asked her what it was, she would just say, Mom, 
I'm playing with Tinkerbell. She said she had seen Tinkerbell sitting on a leaf and Tinkerbell got up and chased her and now they were playing tag. So the mother just thought that she was very imaginative like kids usually are. But one day her daughter came home crying with this giant bite on her arm. The mother says it almost looked like it could have been from an animal. That's how big the bite was. So she asked her daughter what it was that bit her. And the daughter replied, it was Tinkerbell. She got so mad at me that she bit me. So obviously the mother was like, honey, Tinkerbell isn't real. What was the animal that bit you? And the girl still said, mom, it was Tinkerbell. So the mother went out into the woods to investigate and saw something moving on the ground in the distance. And when she got closer, she was horrified to see this tiny little skinny creature on the ground. It had what looked like dragonfly wings coming out of its back. It was almost like a humanoid shape. It had these sharp teeth and it was sitting on the ground eating a squirrel. And that's how the story ends. So I assume this little girl thought that this creature thing was some sort of fairy, reminded her of Tinkerbell, but it wasn't. <laughs> It wasn't. The next place I want to talk about is Chapel Hill Cemetery. Chapel Hill Cemetery was established in 1861 and strange lights are seen there that are described as dancing on the graves. There have also been different accounts of shadows lurking around this cemetery. For example, people have seen shadows of what look like people at the side of their eye, but when they turn and look, there's nothing there. Visitors have also reported feeling their hair being pulled back from their face and people in cars or trucks say things lump against the side of their vehicles when they're driving past the cemetery. And there is also a white robed apparition that is often seen standing on the side of the road. So it's definitely a very creepy place to be, just like most cemeteries are, I guess. Next, we have a place called Rutherwood Mansion. This mansion is definitely one of the most haunted houses in East Tennessee. The home is almost 200 years old and has an incredibly tragic history. The house was built by a man named Frederick Ross, and he had a daughter named Rowena. Now, his daughter actually went through something super tragic. Her fiance actually died on the day they were supposed to get married, so she was absolutely heartbroken. So years went by where she was so sad and wouldn't leave her house. And then one day by chance, she met another man who she fell in love with, and she never thought she'd be able to fall in love again, but by chance she did. But guys, he two ended up passing away right before their wedding day. So this was the second man she was going to marry that died. Clearly this poor girl was having terrible luck and she eventually passed away by drowning in the lake beside her house. After so much tragedy, Wawena's spirit is still present at the Rutherwood mansion. People have seen her wandering around the property in a long flowing white dress. People have also heard unnerving laughter after sundown and they've also seen creepy eyes in the windows. They've also seen this black dog that roams around the property, especially at night, and people usually hear him growling. So that whole property is just such a sad place to be because such tragedy happened there. And lastly, I want to talk about a legend called Old Green Eyes. Old Green Eyes was a nickname for a soldier who met his fate on the Chickamauga battlefield, which is on the Tennessee and Georgia border. The problem is, after this soldier passed away, there were only able to find his head. So legend says that if you walk on the battlefield at night, you might just encounter a set of glowing green eyes following you about. And they say his ghost is trying to encourage you to find the rest of his body. And actually back in the 1970s, two different people had car accidents right near this area. They both say they had to drive their car off the road after seeing a pair of glowing eyes. And these people didn't know each other, there was no correlation, and it happened at different times and both men said they drove their car off the road when they saw these glowing green eyes. So yeah, that is uh, super creepy. But uh, those are all the things I'm going to be talking about today that have to do with Tennessee. If you're from there or if you know any other things that I missed, definitely comment them down below. And if you want me to continue this It's Near You series, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. I'm probably going to start choosing states at random instead of going in alphabetical order because a lot of people were commenting that it wasn't fair because some of their states was on the bottom of the list, so I'm gonna make it fair, guys. And also don't forget, if you would like any of the new strange and unusual hats, I have linked them down below, along with my sister's new sloth merch line. But yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!